Aries. Yeah, Aries. What's poppin', Aries? Uh, real quick, the song that's playing for you is My Body. I just left Leo off the song My Body. Leo ended with the song, so you may be putting an end to a situation with a Leo, or you dealing with a Leo. Regardless, let's get this started. Hold on, let me pull up my goddamn notes. Alright. The moon is 90%. Waxing gibos in Capricorn. Now, keep in mind the waxing gibos cause us to have faith in our manifestations, whether you are manifesting a person, place, or thing, or you just manifesting a new habit, a new idea, a new mindset, a new mind frame, whatever you manifesting. Waxing gibos cause you to have faith in it. Now, keep keep in mind, faith without works is dead. So you can have all the faith in the world. You can have you can have you can have all the faith in the world. If you if you ain't if you ain't moving on it. If you ain't moving, you might as well throw that faith away. Because God don't like lazy motherfuckers. If you got faith and you working, God gon' fuck with you. He gon' fuck with you on the long way. If you ain't got no faith, you ain't got no work behind your faith. That's like having a car with no gas. And you ain't getting that far. You might you might have a 200 mile road trip, esoterically speaking, up ahead. And you like, yeah, I'm about to get there. You got all the faith in the world that God gon' get you where you're trying to go. 200 miles up north, you feel me? But you ain't got no gas, so how you gonna get there? What, you think God just gonna come down and bring you gas? You think it's just gonna rain gasoline? Nah, motherfucker, you gotta go get the gas. You better push your goddamn car to the goddamn gas station, get you some fuel. Now, Capricorn. Capricorn is the cardinal sign. Cardinal signs are, if you will, the signs that like to take initiative. The signs that, it's like an action-based energy. You know, the they are, you could say they are the initiators of beginnings, beginnings, quotes, beginnings, you feel me? Now, that's the beginning of a new idea, beginning of a previous idea, beginning to build on top of a new idea, beginning to build on top of a previous idea, regardless, Capricorn's initiators, I mean Cardinal Signs initiators, ruling house of Capricorn is the 10th house, 10th house is the house of career, Contributions to society, reputation, power, influence, and the dominant parent. Dominant parent can be third dimension. Two, two, two. When I'm talking, hear me. Dominant parent could be third dimensionally speaking, your mother or father, whichever one has a more dominant influence on you as an individual, on your energy, whichever one influenced you more. That's the dominant parent for you. Or fourth dimensionally speaking, the masculine and feminine energies inside of all of us. You could be a feminine with. A more dominant masculine energy because of the environment you were brought up in, or you could be a masculine with more feminine energy because of the dom. Uh, no, you could be a male with more feminine energy because of the dom the environment you were brought up in. But keep in mind that doesn't mean you have a title. Title being whatever society deems that you could be straight or not homosexual. Not not saying there's anything wrong with that. Keep it in mind. But you could be a non-homosexual male in more feminine energy or you could be a non uh lesbian female in more masculine energy it doesn't never not everything needs a title you feel me we just keep we just, we just gonna throw that out there right now and you probably have to hear that uh areas i don't know but regardless uh ruling planet is saturn keep saturn saturday saturday is the day of discipline keep that in mind so damn i didn't do the days for leo oh well fuck it. Willing Platinum is Saturn. Saturn is the planet of structure, law, restrictions, discipline, responsibility, obligations, and ambitions. Now, keep in mind, the song that's playing for you right now is Weak by SMV. Uh, damn, what was I going to say? That threw me off. That threw me off. Uh, oh, yeah. The moon is the ruler of our unconscious reactions to things that make us emotional. The moon, the moon is connected to our emotions. Our moon sign is our emotion, how we react and respond to things that make us emotional instinctively. So it's like the unconscious reactions, keep that in mind. So being that Cap Moon is in Capricorn, you may feel an extra push in your emotions to take actions towards a career path or status you may feel obligated or responsible towards. Or you may just feel concerned to take action towards your reputation, whether that's change what or how people see you. What the hell I wrote? Change what and or how people see you or continue to build upon an image you already have. Regardless, Saturn is the behind the scene influence and going to either build, I mean, is going to either discipline you. This is if you plan a bad seed. Saturn's either going to discipline you by throwing the tower moment in your life, taking the structure you built and crumbling it down. That's how you, 
crumbling it down like a mind it could let's let's say we're gonna throw a mindset it could take a mindset right you got a whole mindset built off of a faulty foundation negative seeds you you got a mindset built off of a bad seed you planted right but it built something Cider gonna take a rock and chuck it at that bitch that shit gonna crumble and you probably you probably it's gonna probably gonna throw you in a mental loop it's probably gonna throw you in a mental cage Figure out why this went that way. How come this went that way? Oh, I should have did that. Mm, maybe I should have did that instead of that. You feel me? It's gonna throw you in a mental prison. Or third dimension, speaking, it's gonna throw down. It's gonna destroy a business you built that, that was on a faulty foundation. It's gonna destroy a relationship that was built that was on a faulty foundation. Regardless, if you know if you know you planted bad seeds, or if you don't know you planted bad seeds, everybody should know what type of seeds they planted. You should not be moving that unconsciously. You should be moving conscious enough. To know what type of seed you fucking with. You feel me now? But regardless, Saturn gonna fuck some shit up if you're planting bad seeds. Saturn gonna hit you with a brick. Let me tell you. Now, if you're planting good seeds, Saturn gonna give you the ambition and structure to continue building. So basically, Saturn gonna throw more ideas in your head like, oh, okay, I see this is what you're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and fuck with you on some shit. It's gonna give you the discipline, the self-discipline, ideas for self-discipline. It's gonna give you ideas to build, ideas to structure what you want, ideas to lay out a blueprint for what you want to manifest. Whatever it is, if you planted good seeds, you're gonna get thoughts, feelings, and ideas that can you can build a solid structure off of in order to pursue the career path you want, in order to pursue the uh how you want to affect society, whatever it is for you. Everybody manifests something different, so keep that in mind. But anyway, Aries, I'm about to pull three cards for you, let you know where you're at. One, two, three, four, when I'm talking, so hit me. I'm about to pull three cards, let you know where you're at, where you're going, or where you need to be. That's it. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Aries. Oh, let me lock that. Goddamn notes on the side. All right, Aries. Three cards, Aries. Oh shit! All right, Aries. Look, first card out, seven pentacles. Reverse. Now, if we flip it, this is you. You working? You was working on something, Aries. Now, now you was working, and you was like, you know what? Let me take five. Of look at what I'm working. Let me admire my work. Whether that's mental structures, you go, you taking a, you taking a break from building on the thought process. You taking a break from building on a new habit, a new idea, a new perspective, whatever it is. You taking a break from what you passionate about. You see that stick, my man, leaning on. That's a wand. So it's something you was building, something you were passionate towards, right? You took a break from it. Third dimensionally, you took a break from a business. You took a break from a relationship. Or it's like you, you just you just separating yourself and observing. You feel me? Look how he looking at them pinnacles. Like, yeah, you know, I built all that shit. You feel me? Yeah, hey, look at them crops. Yeah. Hey. But this bit came like that. So you might, it's either you, 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 what's on the bottom? Hmm. Page of snores in reverse. Now, see, yeah, you defense. All right, it's like you need to take a break. That's what I'm getting with the page of snores, because the page of swords is immature action. It's like you're not taking, you're not making no action, but you're not. It's you don't want to stop doing something. I need a couple more for Aries. This a little. Ah, this a little bit. Hold on. What you what you not? Hmm. See, it's like you're not stopping and you got something you got something you want to communicate to somebody. This is pinnacle. It's like the seven of pinnacles. So it's like you got some communication you want to bring to something you've been working on. You you want to speak some truth to something you've been working on. You may still be working on it though, because I'm not getting the sense like you're not working. You working on something. You don't want to stop. Like upright, you taking a break. You looking at what you're working on. But reverse, right now, I'm getting the sense that you don't want to stop working on something. You you like nah, this this I can't wait for this. And then I just look at the the little silver part on the hole or whatever that is. It's like I don't want to stop. I I gotta manifest this. I gotta build this passion. I can't this I can't take a break. I can't take a break. I gotta go now. 
What song is this? Yeah, my way. I'm telling you. I am telling you. You like? I can't stop. I can't. I gotta keep going. And you and you might have you might have some words to say to people outside of you because this is the two. This is the one, so this is you. This is the two, so this is another perspective of the one, or this is people placing the thing outside of you. Regardless, you might have, you might be ready to cut a motherfucker if they try to tell you to take a break. They try to tell you to stop. You like, nah. This is swords of truth. Truth is air communication. So you might be like, fuck all that. No, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep building. I gotta keep manifesting. And you're not taking no. You defensive about whatever you're trying to build. You ain't taking no immature actions or nothing. You like, nah. Fuck I'm out of here. Nobody can stop you right now, Aries. Whatever you're working on, whatever you're working on, what you working on though. Still need one. Yeah, you like no no conflict, no bullshit. I don't need not none of it. Saturn done gave you the discipline. I'm telling you, yo, you want shit done a certain way. You want shit done your way. You like, nah, I ain't with all the bullshit. Fuck out my come. I bet. Look, I wish a motherfucker would. That's what you saying. I wish a motherfucker would. Eleven, eleven. When I said that, so you working on something, Aries? That's a that could be a business, a relationship, a structure, a habit, whatever you building. You building something, and you don't want no drama. If somebody run up on you, ready to cut a motherfucker. So that's it for you, Aries. Eee!